um, Dan, I'm pretty sure um, if you have if you haven't heard from this person, you will you, you will be hearing from her again. It's because she's back, Gray. Oh boy. <laughs> so remember, every time that she, you know, the, the most recent one she's talked about, um, Barbie. And you yeah, know, that she, was, was okay. Yeah, that it was, was okay. It, it was good. You know, she's talking about how like it's actually not you know, male bashing is actually showing that if females were in charge, men will be like displaced and stuff like that. But in this one, is, uh, she, she's going back to her roots. So it comes to us from the gamer, from the good old Stacy Henley. Stacey. Reads, stop using mods to make female characters prettier. <laughs> <laughs> That's where modding started, you know. Just yeah, that. you know, where's yeah. my booba slider? That booba slider better be in this mod, or I'm not gonna play the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. What what do you think about this, Gray? What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, here here I am waiting for yeah, I'm waiting for the booba slider. <laughs> Honestly. That's 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 a key missing feature in the game right now. Yeah. So the yeah. fact that strongly, strongly disagree. Yeah, the fact that you could there's so many penis uh penis options in the game. There's a skin, a foreskin on and foreskin off, and then like diff and different vulva designs and stuff like that. And there's no boob slider, there's no titty design. How about if, okay, boob slider works in both ways, all right? You, how about if there are some people who like girls that are flat chested but with big asses? There should be an ass slider too. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, uh, no. What, what are your takes on this, uh, Dan? Well, it's just another example of some idiot thinking that they can uh, morally shame people into doing things when they're not in the room with them. That's all I yeah. hear. Every time every time I see someone saying, don't do this, don't do that, it's like, you're not even fucking there. Like, wh yeah. what? You think, oh, you think someone's going to read this and go, you know what? Yeah, she said that. So I'm going to do what she says, even though she's not fucking here in front of me. It's like, stop trying to control people like this. It's so stupid. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's read it. Baldur's Gate 3 is the latest game to be uh, beset by gamers deciding that every woman needs to be endlessly beautiful and always glamorous. <laughs> one of the strangers... Well, sorry, um, go ahead. I'm sorry, it's just... these. They also write these articles and they automatically assume that woman is defined. What do you mean yeah. woman? Define woman. Yeah, well, what is a woman? <laughs> See, uh, uh, one of the strangest complaints I've seen in the history of video games was when the gamers were mad at Aloy had fuzz on her face, not a beard, not an unsightly cavewoman uh, monobrow, not a black uh, prongs of unwaxed uh, top lip, uh, which surely at least some women in a society should have uh, have had, but a regular peach fuzz. Almost all humans have hair all over uh, their bodies. These white uh, whisp uh, wispy hairs uh, are near invisible until you get up close and see them in certain lights. It should have been praised as a commitment to photorealism, but instead by many gamers, apparently ignorant of basic biology, were enraged <laughs> by it. <laughs> it's deemed uh, unacceptable for women in games not to be beautiful, as the recent swath of mods for games like Baldur's Gate 3 have proven. Within the few days of Baldur's Gate 3 launching, a mod was made that claimed to, be, uh, to make Lazel prettier. Baldur's Gate 3 is being praised for its rich writing, character development, and branching storytelling, but some just can't lose themselves in the narrative if the women don't look like supermodels. Uh, there's even a mod that makes Shadowheart prettier, despite the fact that she already looks like a supermodel. Wait, where's that mod? I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know there's there was some criticism too with Shadowheart with regards to her jaw, I believe. Some something to do with her jawline. So I think, yeah. The, the, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some mod that actually there was, yeah, there was the original uh iteration of her that I think she's part of the uglifying process, kind of like Aloy. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up voice actor for Lays Out. I think she's yeah, she, I think she's very, very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead and bring this up really quick. I'm going to show this uh, right over here. I don't know who this is. This might be Asterian. This one over here is um, the one in the, the blonde chick in the middle is Shadowheart. The brunette here is Lazelle. And the wow. one over here, the, the one all the way at the end is the narrator. Okay. She's She's pretty. They're all pretty, yeah. Yeah, they're all pretty, yo. But but 
I'm pretty sure the the article, the person who's writing the article is like, why didn't you hire fat people? <laughs> fat people need voice acting too. Well, also that she keeps on saying supermodel. It's like she has a complex. I don't know if, if you, either of you've seen a supermodel, but they're not exactly what I would call attractive. They're yeah, usually kind of skeletal and like these girls that you just showed, like they 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 don't look like supermodels. They're just really pretty. Like, who gives a shit, lady Stacy? I think Stacy yeah. has an issue. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think it's a Stacy problem, not our problem. I think Stacy has a beauty standard she's not hitting. Yep. Let's see. It offers up a strange standard that I'm not sure anyone can be happy with. It's a problem with itself that you can't experience Lazel's story for what it is. But objectively, Lazel is not a beautiful creature. Shadowheart, however, is a conventionally attractive woman. To look at her and instantly think of ways you can fine-tune her into a perfect woman shows uh, you see not only video game characters, but woman as a whole. To be honest, I think Lazel especially in the cinematic CGI opening. I thought she was pretty already as a, as a gift Yankee. I thought she was pretty. Right. So like if who, who cares? I think, I think beauty is subjective. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And Correct. if people want Tego biddies, give them Tego biddies. I don't think that's an issue, right? Because these standards, are you saying that Hitomi Tanaka and Henri Okita, they're not real women? I don't know who those are. I just made those names up. Don't Google them. Don't Google uh, Shibuya Kaho. Don't, don't do that. Okay, chat. I'm just telling you right now, those people are fake names. Okay. But let's say if those people were real people, they, they have Tiggle Bitties. Who cares? There are, there, the fact that you're saying all oh, these quote unquote beauty standards, there are people who look like that. I'm just saying yep. if, if they happen, are you saying that because the main female characters that you get that could potentially be companions are not fat? Maybe, maybe Stacey Henley really likes that, uh, the ogre, uh, ogre sex scene inside that barn. Maybe he's like, we need more, we need more people like her, that giant woman <laughs> that was in the barn. <laughs> Again, hey, man, have you been playing Boulder's Gate 3? it up yet uh i don't know if i will I, any game that looks like diablo i kind of i don't know I, I think i got a thing against diablo i don't think it's a personal thing I, I don't know what it is it's just i just don't have fun playing those games but uh, i do watch the playthroughs and i have seen the images and i gotta say uh if there were it, are guys able to be modded too i think so so get to it like what's the problem yeah the thing I that think, these, yeah there should I be, say, yeah go ahead there should be model uh mods for both both genders. Like yeah, in my, in my opinion. Code, you know, Stacy, did you know that there are female coders and if they felt like it, they could mod the game too? They're free to do it. It's allowed. So maybe the question should be, where are the male mod male mod that yeah, uh, where are they that they that can make the guys more, you know, six foot three and above and eight packs and make them look like Japanese uh anime characters that all the girls love? Yeah. That's allowed, Stacy. You can do it. So yeah, maybe, what happens? Is maybe get to your sisters and tell them, hey, get modding. Yeah, like, okay, here, here's the thing. Mo most of the time, okay, I, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm just telling, I'm telling the chat right now, I'm not gay. All right, <laughs> I, I just want to put that out there. And some people, some people are like, if you have to, if you have to say that, you're probably gay. <laughs> but the thing is, like, maybe there's some guys who are like, oh, I want a micro PP. Because I I I feel like I identify as a micro PP, or I want I want to have a BBC. This is getting clipped, Phil. No, please please don't, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> right? So like like let's say if it's like oh you know my 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 pingus is not you know as long as this you know I or I should be longer or whatever like you should have that wide range, right? I'm not sure if um Cyberpunk has that, and because I know Cyberpunk had the ability to. To do some kind of like modding for that too, but I'm not sure how crazy that got. But anyways, uh, we're sidetracked it long enough talking about. <laughs> anyways, let's see. Um, let's see. But it's not just a problem in Baldur's Gate Three. Any game that involves significant interaction with female characters quickly devolves into build a bitch. But if you need a woman to meet impossible uh, beauty standards in order to connect with them, it suggests that these connections are only skin deep. Mass Effect. Dragon Age, Cyberpunk 2077, and Tomb Raider are just a handful of examples. It goes back to the outrage around Aloy, 
where the game was criticized for being hyper-realistic when it came to unper uh, sorry, unperceptible hairs on the face. But Aloy and Laura Kraft and dozens of more video game women living in the world, uh, sorry, in wild conditions are always shown without leg hair or armpit hair, despite the fact that they would definitely have some. Developers already make hun uh, hundreds of decisions aimed at making women more attractive, and these are just taken as standard. To be honest, though, I don't think any man out there find women with uh, armpit hair attractive. No. no. Yeah. Right. I think. Uh, I. I. I think. I think that's that's disgusting, in my opinion. I think that if if you have like little pricklies, maybe you forgot to shave that day, or you didn't have time, or something like that's that. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Would do, I, I? Am I like? Huh, I don't know. How, how do you feel about this, Gray? Like you know, talking about you know weird armpit hair fetishes and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's it's her personal issue again, and yeah, uh, I'm surprised she gets to write this many articles this frequently and get 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 away with it. But especially now, Kotaku recently getting so much scrutiny. I think their editor in chief got fired recently. But yeah, really? it's like I don't know. It's an, it's another it's another L article about bitching about things that are not really relevant or it's more of a personal issue which nobody has a problem with and yeah it's like don't tell people what to do it's like you, you can't stop them from like modding modding the game the way they see fit yeah what about you dan well a, a couple things uh first of all like this stacy person seems to really hate pretty girls all the way to the point where she's calling them bitches it becomes build a bitch dude so so every girl who's pretty is a bitch? I mean, that's what it sounds like. Oh, you're building a bitch. And the other thing is that she's hung up on the fact that people might have said something about you know, that ugly chick from Horizon Zero Dawn's you know, vanilla face hair. The thing is, when gamers go into a hyper-realistic looking game like the modern games, right? We don't need it to be exactly the reality that we left because it's escapism, right? We're escaping to a fantasy realm. Now, the fantasy realm can be realistic, but not so realistic that it's exactly like where we left. We want it to be immersive, but fantastical. Doesn't need to be realistic. So this hang up about like, wow, this is the way they look in real life. Uh, in real life, there wouldn't be any female freaking protagonists out in the warrior cast hunting mammoths. In real life, they would have been at home keeping the fort down keeping making sure the fire was lit making sure the, that the walls were mended making sure that it was food ready when you came back that's real if you want to get real men were out there risking their lives against a mammoth women were out there making sure they had somewhere good and safe to come home to so that they had something to risk their life for it was a partnership but i don't think she understands that at all and yeah they had armpit hair because they didn't have a choice now yeah. it seems like women have a choice and they most of them have chosen to shave it off which seems to attract guys so people tend to do things that attract the opposite sex. That's kind of the way it works. That's but bi that's biology, Stacy. Yeah, true. All right, let's continue. Let's see. If Gorilla really wanted to make a woke statement with Alloy, it could have. We've seen both Julia Roberts and Rachel McAdams sports unshaven pits on the red carpet as a, fem a feminist statement, while Emily Ratatowski and Miley Cyrus have both embraced hairy legs. Both of these are far more noticeable and far more of a statement than peach fuzz, but logic doesn't apply. All that matters is that digital women are practically perfect in every way or else it's impossible to care about them. Uh, is this um, Big no. Papa Pump? Is this Scott Steiner? <laughs> <laughs> is that yeah, Abby? yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it is. It is. I, 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 I know that scene. Yeah. <laughs> See, The Last of Us Part Two is an interesting case study here as well. Many had objections to Abby's unrealistic body, despite the fact that she was modeled off an actual female athlete. Others, meanwhile, complained that the game had uh, deliberately made Ellie less attractive in the sequel, even though she was a young teenage uh, child in the original outing. I know you could argue there is a double standard afoot. There are so uh, there are many mods across many games, and make men shirtless. We also tend to celebrate when a mod makes a character uh, available for a queer romance, but criticize when a mod changes the queer character to make them available for straight romance. See Judy Alvarez in Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, and there's a lot of people who were, um, there's a mod for Spider-Man 
<laughs> where someone turned the trans flag or the gay uh the, the gay the, the pride flag into an american flag yeah and the they banned that <laughs> mod <laughs> yeah. was, we're occupied so stupid, you're dude. flying the wrong flag yeah Ultimately, it's a matter of context. If a mod is made to celebrate the character, then I consider it a fair game. There are plenty of mods that uh, dress characters up in outfits they only wear in particular scenes. For example, both Aloy and Lara Croft have mods that put them in more stylish outfits and in makeup, but uh, these feel like they are in support of the characters rather than objectifying them. Looking at Shadowheart and deciding she's not quite good enough for you is very different. The weighting of these mods, the ones that take a man's shirt off, the ones that uh, contort a woman's clothes and body and face and all, uh, and any in all directions, is also heavily out of sync, with far fewer shirtless men to be found. Uh, I've always taken the view that modding characters in video games should be like fan fiction, extra lore, extra quests, extra scenes, extra costumes. But to write fan fiction, you need to be a fan. And if you're changing Shadowheart because her skin isn't quite clear enough for you to be interested in her story, why are you even playing it in the first place? Oh my God. Uh, yeah, she's... Uh... I'm sure she is one hell of a looker. Yeah. Yeah, she's probably... Um... She might be the Gor uh, the Gorlack from... Uh... <laughs> 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 oh shit man but uh yeah i think to be honest who gives a fuck are you modding it are you seeing the mods on your end i don't really think so are you doing a capcom's uh competition and all of a sudden you see a nude mod of chun Li where everyone saw it and then it was up there for at least 10 seconds no you're not the who gives a fuck right yeah. are you are you playing your mods online can other people see your mods if they don't have the mods activated right those are the questions and if this does not affect you yourself shut the fuck up bitch <laughs> shut the fuck well, up bitch. she's yeah. actually saying is that if i was the head commissar of the ministry of modding these are things that i would outlaw is that's what she's that's her that's her power fantasy because otherwise, it's who do, who cares? You know who cares? People who want to control other people. That's who cares. And by the way, she made a comment about like, well, if the if the female character doesn't look perfect, then you just can't care about her. Now, yeah, exactly. I, I'm not a coder. I know coders. I've seen people writing code, and my eyes cross when I look at it. It looks like a lot of fucking work. It looks like a lot of labor intensive, even with ChatGPT, probably very labor intensive, probably takes a long time. If you care enough about a, char a coder, uh, a character that you're saying, you know what, I love this character, but I'm going to create a program that I'm going to add to the game. And it's going to take me hours and hours of my own time that I'm not getting paid for to do it. That tells me you do care. So that comment is that it rubbed me the wrong way. I've modded Skyrim to shit. I have like 455 mods on my Skyrim, and I know that almost all of them have been done by people who are just doing it out of love. Yeah. I gave them money anyway, but they did it because they loved the game and they just wanted to add something to it. You know, Bethesda now makes games unfinished, hoping that the mods will fix it for them. But yeah. when Skyrim came out, it was there was genuine love for the game and the characters, and that's where the modding community came from. It came out of love. I'm going to add this. I'm going to make them look like this. Oh, look, it's five years later. The graphics are better. Let's make them look better. This lady yeah, doesn't know yeah. what she's talking about, of course, but she wants to control everything, which is the kind of the, the hallmark of these left wokies is that they don't know what the fuck they're doing about and they don't know anything but they want to control everything yeah what about you gray are you yeah, gonna, are you going to be modding your uh boulders gate three yeah because of her actually want to see that uh shadow heart mod she <laughs> might look significantly better <laughs> yeah if, i have a feeling if i google it with safe search off we'll get a bunch of different things about <laughs> I, you already like doing it in your stream anyway. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Phil always goes to a horny jail when he streams his games. Yeah, <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna put Shadowheart face mod. Let's see. How, let's see if that pops up. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it will. If it looks a lot better, I'll I'll apply it to mine. Oh shit! A lot. Okay. Like it it changes her up a little bit, but she yeah she does like her scars on her face is gone. She sort of looks like Yennefer in a, in a bit. Like, just a little bit. I'm on the delay. Yeah. It'll take me a second to see it. Oh, yeah. 
a little bit like Yennefer, especially this one, especially this one here. It's not that much of a change. Like, I think she has like a more pointier jaw. Her nose is a little bit more up. Yeah, yeah. And she doesn't have the scar on her face. That's about it. Like, it's not that much changed, but it looks like, yeah, she looks like the Yennefer though, 100%. Yeah. But does now, she have armpit hair? That's the big question. <laughs> yeah, armpit hair mod. I would say no. She's an elf. They're supposed to be perfect. So, so Greg, would you be adding that mod to your playthrough? It's not that of a huge difference, in my opinion. I, I think yeah. she looks okay already in origin. Yeah, so probably not. Yeah. Let's see. I'm still trying to romance her. She's playing hard to get. <laughs> yeah, I, you have to you have to close that story arc before it actually happens. As far as yeah, I probably where I am right now, right with the whole thing with um the Temple of Shar. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.